So, with the last detail on the channel being successful, I thought we would take this dirty A-class and transform it into this clean A-class. Stick around, it's not as in-depth as last time, and you will enjoy this one. Properly dirty, this car. Really properly dirty. It's a friend of ours. He's been helping out in the house we're building, and I kind of owed him a favour. It's a 20 plate car, it's new, it'll come up nice, but it's not been cared for as of yet. So that's where I step in, and that's where you get a lovely video, all being well. Now, the wicked thing about this one is Ultimate Finish here in the UK got in touch with me after the last video and wanted to work together. I'm down for a bit of car cleaning products to make some cool content for you guys, and from the post I posted on the communities page it seems like you are as well so this is the first video working in collaboration with ultimate finish now the guys and girls over there are particularly awesome and they supplied us with a discount code for you guys as well use code joe10 for 10 percent off your first order with ultimate finish simply enter the code on the basket page during checkout and the discount will be applied what more can you ask for no one else has done that for me in the past. And actually, in fairness, I use Ultimate Finish a lot and was a little bit excited when they got in contact, so I couldn't say no. Now, I do apologise because I don't know why my camera looks this soft and horrible at the start of the video. It does get better very quickly. But the wheels on this car... Nothing amazing, your standard alloy wheels, but they were pretty grimy. So instead of going in with a normal wheel cleaner this week, I've gone straight in. I'm using Ultimate Finish's own brand iron remover. Now, there's not many detailing supply companies that supply other brands that make their own, if that makes sense. Now, the cool thing about this is I don't think they quite realise, as prior to them getting in touch with me, I've used their chemicals on a professional level. I use their shampoo a lot on cars that were well worth more than my house that have been PPF, ceramic coated and all of these wonderful things. I've used their wheel cleaner loads and actually used their iron fallout as well. So when they appeared in a box for me to be able to make some content and actually continue doing what I'm doing, I was chuffed to pieces. As you can see, their iron fallout remover is quickly and easily lifted away any embedded contamination from the months and months and months that my friend didn't get his car washed. I can't complain because it's made an awesome video and I'm pretty chuffed. Back of the wheel was clean first, then the face. Then I've used this uh, Valet Pro detail brush. Always gets in the little tight areas. So for me, wheel nuts and around valve stems. The little details that all add up to the end. Got to keep an eye on these, you see. Once the wheel is clean, a bit of built hammer, Surfex, Surfex HD was my APC of choice for tyres and arches. Been using this a lot recently. I have to say, I'm liking the built hammer way. I want to get to know their range a little bit more. With the wheel inside and out sparkling and clean again, tyre and arch degreased, ready for some dressing. I gave it all a thorough rinse down with the Kranzel K10 pressure washer. Um, again, I've explained it before, carrying away all of the dirt you've dislodged, loosened to leave you that clean surface. As always for me, once the clear wheel's been washed and there's no protection, four sprays of auto finesse aqua coat and a thorough rinse down and it's going to mean that the wheel contamination will not build up as quick as before.
with the wheels, tyres and arches now clean. Engine bay wasn't needed on this video, sorry about that. It was time to actually rinse down the bodywork. Some people have mixed opinions on this. For me, spend as much time on your pre-rinse as you can that is possible to you. This is one of the most important steps in washing a car. This is where you make the car wash as safe as possible. Get in all the little tight areas and on your lower halves, spend the time. Work your way down the panel methodically, knocking off as much dirt as you can. That way, when you put your wash mitt on it, there's less chance of dirt being still on there. Just that little things that make a wash a little bit safer. With your pre-rinse all done, a little bit of APC on the lower halves on this car again. Bottom, bottom third of the door and lower seals. Built hammer, Surfex HD, diluted 1 to 10, 1 to 12, nice and weak. Wasn't going to kill the paint. Next up, a bit of snow foam. Now, if you're a snow foam lover, you will absolutely die for ultimate snow foam from ultimate finish. It is uber impressive price for five liters and if you like thick foam it's going to be worth it so i'll put a link in the description of the video to that product be sure to go and check out how much it is you'll be blown away value for money is is up there and actually as you can see it lays down a nice thick layer which i will later come back in with a detail brush and tickle some of them tighter areas to agitate the dirt. Thick foam allows lubricity to do that. That is why I like this foam. Now with the pre-rinse and the pre-wash is all done, it's time for shampoo in the car. Um, two cap balls for a light dirt car and for heavy dirt, four cap balls. So it's definitely four cap balls on this one. What I also did was put 150ml of shampoo in the bottom of my foam gun, filled it up with water. I filled my buckets with water, warm water, it's that time of the year people and then put four capfuls in the buckets as well and giving it a swirl around to be able to mix it in. Once that's said and done, hammer it home with a jet wash, activate all of them suds and cleaning agents and all of them wonderful things that are bottled up in that bottle of shampoo. Team it with your favorite wash mitt, wash pad, whatever you're into, 
I've gone for a lamb's wool and microfiber combination on this one. Lamb's wool, nice and soft, nice and delicate. Don't want to get too dirty. That's why we'll use it on the top half of the car this time round. And then microfiber pad for the lowers that I can stick in the washing machine if they get scrubby. Quite simple. Now, I've put the snow foam gun back on the lance and taken the shampoo and given the car a good foam down. Reason being, I know that under the dirt, this car isn't particularly contaminated or swelled, but there's still a bit of dirt that needs to come off with the contact wash stage. Now, putting a bit of shampoo through your foam lance, foaming the car up again, what that does is it adds a layer of lubricity. So you've then got paintwork, water, shampoo through the snow foam, shampoo on the wash mitt, and then the wash mitt itself. So like five layers of lubricity there that you've got. That makes it perfect for a safe wash. That combined with straight lines, flipping your pad often, you're not going to go wrong. As always, at the end of a car wash, I like to open the door shut. Just give them a light tickle over with a wash pad. This rinses out when you rinse the car. Don't worry, we're not going to cover the interior of shampoo. But it's a little finishing touch that when you open the car door, that's just as clean as the outside. With that all said and done, give your car another thorough rinse down to remove any suds and shampoo that's sitting on the car to reveal a clean, sparkly surface say that with a lisp.
Now, the wonderful thing about collaborating with brands like Ultimate Finish is I get access to products I normally wouldn't buy. This time, the hybrid ceramic wax from Meguiar's. I wouldn't go out and buy that personally, but I was proved wrong. Also, they sent across a kamikaze twist loop drying towel. These things blow your brain if you haven't used one. Now, the Meguiar's ceramic hybrid wax. Interesting because of, like I say, off the bat, wouldn't have gone and bought it. Using the product, different story. Would go and buy it again. I say that for a couple of reasons. The first is, it gave me that nostalgic feeling of when I used to detail cars and I thought I was a top detailer because I used spray wax. Second of all, it's actually quite thick and adds a sort of a good lubricant to when you're drying. Third of all, the looks are rather good. For a spray on, drying products looks great reflections were on point and actually what looks like a tiny drying towel dried the whole car and had more to go in it so for drying your car if you've got no protection it's a killer combination you're drying protection into the car with a towel that's tiny that will do the whole car winner winner chicken dinner With the bodywork dried and its first layer of the hybrid ceramic wax applied, then took my blower as always on every car wash, load the wheels, the tyres and any tight cracks and crevices to ensure we don't get much water leakage later on in the wash process. Essential this. is now clean and dry we want to start beautifying the product same with the last video my go-to wheel arch dressing or a finesse dressel I buy it in five liters because I just basically drink it on a car and then with the tires this week I've gone for auto finesse satin a little bit on a foam applicator butterfly it out and spread it in what more can you ask for like this product, it's not heavily oil based. I'm not an oily sort of person, so satin is a key winner for me here. These are the little touches that you spend your time on that just beautify that step on the paint that bit more by adding contrast and pop to everything that you're doing. Again, next on the list of products that I wouldn't buy because my brain's too OCD to steer away from one track was Sansom Glass Cleaner. Now, you know me, I've been stuck to Water Finesse Crystal for years and I'm not saying I'm about to transfer, but it opens your eyes. If you don't want a heavily alcohol-based glass cleaner because you're worried about your tints, this offers a nice solution and it works nice and quick as well evaporates off the windows nicely and like I say doesn't smell horrifically of alcohols or IPAs things like that another little winner so now where we are arches are dressed tires are dressed glass is clean for one last touch on the exterior of the paint I wanted to top up the protection here two microfiber towels I've used the lighter one to apply a layer of the ceramic wax and then do its first buff and then I've got a dry clean towel for a second buff. I wasn't going to go too far out on this one. 
because like I say, I know in about a month or two's time, it probably will go for a hand car wash and all of this will be undone. So I wasn't gonna bust out the machine polisher. But it kind of shows you what can be done on a Saturday afternoon at home during the winter. We're not dependent on weathers to be able to use actual polishes and actual waxes here. The ceramic wax in its spray form gives you that versatility to be able to use it in the winter. So all I did was put two sprays on the cloth on each panel wipe it into the paint, let the paint start to absorb it and start doing wonderful things, and then buff it clean. And you'll notice once this bonnet is buffed clean, it looks beautiful. Like I say, reflections were pretty tasty on this one. With the exterior now to a point where I'm happy, like I say, it's not the most in-depth detail you'll see me do, but it looks nice and clean again. I jumped on the interior. Now, credit where credit's due, my pal will actually keep on top of his interior cleaning, so I had to milk this for before shots, really. There was your usual level of grime and grass and mud and that on the floor mats, and a light layer of dust everywhere else on the seats and the dashboard and the gloss black trims. So a good hoover with the crevice tool on the carpets. And then I've used the Valet Pro interior detailing brush. This one's slightly smaller in terms of width than the one I was using on the wheel. I like to use this instead of a brush on a hoover. A little bit more delicate, a little bit more precise. That was then used to go around all the little nooks and crannies and the gloss black bits to get as much dust away as possible. Next, took the carpet mats out of the car and gave them a light dusting down. This is Auto Glim Professional Interior Cleaner. Can't remember exactly. It's a trade product that you can buy on eBay in five liters, but you dilute it down yourself. That, with a heavy scrubbing brush, is all you really need to keep on top of your carpets. Take a microfiber towel and give it a good scrub dry. Now, the key to what I've done here is I've misted the carpet with cleaner. What that does is it will remove any light grime and dirt that's sat on the top, but it doesn't saturate the carpet to where it needs to be vacuumed and wet back out. Microfiber cloth is all you need to dry a carpet which has been dusted with interior shampoo like that. With that said and done, the same interior cleaner was used on a new cloth and gone around the interior and all surfaces were wiped to ensure they were dust dirt free for the collection of the car. Now, when it comes to gloss black, piano black, whatever you want to call it, trims in cars, I'll always take a little bit of spray wax. So I actually used the hybrid ceramic wax again on a nice thick plush towel and went over all of the gloss black trims. Hopefully it will stop the dust settling so quickly and it added a bit of luster to it as well. That kind of new car feeling again. Just a nice little touch. 
that keeps the detail on point. With them trims now sorted, it was that last little job that you always do, line up the air vents. And then for me, this car was done and ready for my pal to collect it and get it dirty again. And there we have it, one factory fresh A-Class again. Now, like I say, go and check out Ultimate Finish. They're on Instagram and all the social media. Go on their website, have a look. Code Joe10 for 10% off your first order. And if there's anything on there that you want to see featured on the channel, leave me a comment below. As always, really appreciate you stopping by and watching my videos. It means a lot for the support we're getting. As always, share, like, comment, subscribe, all of that amazing stuff for more detailing content in the near future. Cheers.